Hello and welcome to Shorts in Psychology. This video is the first in the Psychobiology of Altered States of Awareness topic series and today we'll be discussing sleep cycles and the characteristics of each stage of sleep. The sleep-wake cycle is an example of a circadian rhythm. A circadian rhythm is a 24-hour cycle in the physiological processes of living things. Although usually endogenously generated, which means by factors within the organism, they can also be modulated by external cues such as sunlight and temperature. As you can see in this diagram, circadian rhythms are associated with clear patterns of brainwave activity, hormone production, cell regeneration and other biological activities including blood pressure and body temperature. Circadian rhythms are important in determining the sleeping and feeding patterns of all animals including human beings. In humans, the sleep-wake cycle is controlled by light by activating the suprachiasmatic nucleus or SCN. The SCN is a small bundle of neurons located in the hypothalamus. Melanopsin receptors in the retina of the eye respond to the presence or absence of light by transmitting signals to the SCN via the optic nerve. Light-induced activation of the SCN prevents the pineal gland from producing melatonin, a hormone that otherwise signals biological night and creates the onset of sleepiness. In contrast, an absence of light results in the SCN stimulating the pineal gland to produce melatonin, which is released into the blood. Usually, this occurs around 9pm. As a result, melatonin levels in the blood rise sharply and you begin to feel less alert. Sleep becomes more inviting. Melatonin levels in the blood stay elevated for about 12 hours, all through the night, before the light of a new day when they fall back to low daytime levels by about 9am. Daytime levels of melatonin are barely detectable. There are five stages of sleep. Stages 1 to 4 are non-rapid eye movement or non-REM sleep, followed by REM sleep. These stages progress cyclically from 1 through REM, then begin again with stage 2. A complete sleep cycle takes an average of 90 to 110 minutes, with each stage lasting between 5 to 15 minutes. The first sleep cycles each night have relatively short REM sleeps and long periods of deep sleep, but later in the night REM periods lengthen and deep sleep timing decreases. Let's look at each stage of sleep in more detail in terms of brain activity present and other characteristics. When we are awake and alert, our brainwave activity is predominantly high frequency beta waves. As we relax and become drowsy, higher amplitude alpha waves appear. Stage 1 sleep is the transition from wakefulness to sleep, which typically lasts between 5 and 10 minutes. It is a light sleep where you drift in and out of sleep and can be easily awakened. Indeed, if awakened in this stage, a person will claim they were never actually asleep. Theta waves appear on the EEG and the eyes move slowly and muscle activity slows. During this stage, many people experience sudden muscle contractions preceded by a sensation of falling. These are known as hypnagogic jerks. Breathing also slows down and heartbeat becomes regular in this stage. Stage 2 is the main body of sleep and lasts 5 to 15 minutes. It is a light sleep during which memory consolidation occurs. Eye movement stops and brain waves become slower with occasional bursts of rapid brain waves known as sleep spindles and K complexes also appear. Heart rate slows and body temperature decreases in preparation for deep sleep. When a person enters stage 3, extremely slow brain waves called delta waves are interspersed with smaller, faster waves. As a result, this deep sleep is often called slow wave sleep. It is during this stage that a person may experience sleepwalking, night terrors, talking during one's sleep and bedwetting. These behaviours are known as parasomnias. In stage 4, deep sleep continues as the brain produces delta waves almost exclusively. At this point you will sleep through most potential sleep disturbances such as noises and movements without showing any reaction and being awoken during slow wave sleep will result in a few minutes of disorientation. Deep sleep reduces your sleep drive and provides the most restorative sleep of all the sleep stages. This is why if you take a short nap during the day, you're still able to fall asleep at night. But if you take a nap long enough to fall into deep sleep, you have more difficulty falling asleep at night because you reduced your need for sleep. 
During deep sleep, human growth hormone is released and restores your body and muscles from the stresses of the day. Your immune system restores itself. Much less is known about deep sleep than REM sleep. It may be during this stage that the brain also refreshes itself for the new learning the following day. During REM sleep, brain waves mimic activity during the waking state. As you can see here, the EEG profiles for someone who is awake and someone in REM are very similar, both containing high frequency beta waves. In REM sleep, the eyes remain closed but move rapidly from side to side, perhaps related to the intense dream and brain activity that occurs during this stage. It is during this stage of sleep that vivid and powerful dreams usually happen. Muscle paralysis often accompanies REM sleep. Scientists believe this may be to help prevent us from injury while trying to act out our dreams. This stage is also characterised by an increase of the heart and respiration rates and their rhythms become irregular. REM stages typically get longer and longer as the night goes by and the last REM stage can last an hour. A sleep cycle refers to the period of time it takes for an individual to progress through the stages of sleep I've just outlined. One does not go straight from deep sleep to REM sleep, however. Rather, a sleep cycle progresses through the stages of non-REM sleep from light to deep sleep, then reverses back from deep to light sleep, ending with time in REM before starting over in light sleep again. For example, the order looks something like this. Stage 1, light sleep. Stage 2, light sleep. Stage 3, deep sleep or slow wave sleep. Stage 4, stage 3. Stage 2, REM sleep. After REM sleep, the individual returns to stage 2 of light sleep and begins a new cycle. As the night progresses, individuals spend increasingly more time in REM sleep and correspondingly less time in deep sleep. So how long is a sleep cycle? The first sleep cycle takes about 90 minutes. After that, they average between 100 to 120 minutes. Typically, an individual will go through four to five sleep cycles a night. Let's apply what you've learned in this video to a few past exam questions. Pause the video for a moment while you answer this question. This question has provided you with a lot of information. As well as EEG profiles, you have EOG and EMG profiles as well. The EOG profile is eye movements and the EMG is muscle movement. While these are useful confirmation of REM, you can select an answer based on the EEG profile alone. As you can see, stage B has high frequency beta waves and is therefore REM sleep. We can confirm this by looking at the EOG as large rolling eye movements have appeared and the EMG demonstrates that muscles are paralysed. This question is similar in that you need to be familiar with the brain activity present in each stage of sleep. Pause the video again while you answer both parts of the question. All the information you need to answer these questions is in the table, so hopefully you found them pretty straightforward. For part A, the answer is beta, alpha, theta, delta. And the answer to B is that the brain waves are decreasing in frequency, which means that they are slower. Just make sure that you don't confuse frequency with amplitude, which is how high the brain waves are on the EEG. On to the next question. Pause the video again while you answer. As you are describing differences and similarities of REM and non-REM sleep, your chosen difference and similarity for non-REM sleep needs to apply to all four stages of non-REM sleep. Therefore, you can't say, for example, that non-REM sleep has delta waves, but REM doesn't, as this is only true for stages three and four, not one and two. Therefore, instead you could say that the EEG profile in REM is similar to that of someone awake and contains beta waves, whereas in non-REM sleep, the EEG pattern is slower and very different to the waking state. Other differences you could describe relate to muscle tone, blood pressure, heart rate and respiration speed. You could also discuss the differences in dreams between REM and non-REM, i.e. vivid dreams versus simple plot dreams we tend to not remember. For similarities in part B, you could discuss how dreaming or repair and restoration occur in both types of sleep. Alternatively, you could state that both are considered to be an altered state of awareness with unresponsiveness to some stimuli. 
Let's look at one final question. Pause the video one more time. This is a simple knowledge and understanding question where each feature is worth two marks. As you have to describe features from the shaded area, they have to relate to stages three or four. Therefore, you could describe any of the characteristics of slow wave sleep outlined earlier. EEG pattern, heart and respiration rates, muscle tone, body temperature, repair and restoration. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time for another video in the Altered States topic.